If you are cringing every time you open your bills every single month, well, you're definitely not alone. According to a new report from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, Americans' debt level has hit a new record high. Total U.S. household debt has hit nearly $13 trillion in the most recent quarter. That is up over $500 billion over the same time last year. Well, that study also found that the average American is about $37,000 in debt. So one in 10 Americans are more than $100,000 in debt, and that's not even, even including your mortgage. Credit card debt is also at a record high. According to the Federal Reserve, U.S. households collectively have more than $1 trillion in credit card debt. And as for millennials, well, it's not much better. Less than one in four millennials with debt say they actually pay it off as much as they can each month. And 32% admit to frivolous spending. And if you have a lot of debt, well, that could be a big problem in the relationship department. A survey released by Chase found 37% of Americans say that high credit card debt would be a relationship deal breaker. So that is why 1% of women and 15% of men think that it is acceptable to talk finances on the first date. Well, I don't know about that, but we are going to keep talking finances, Layla. Yeah, here to break it all down for us this morning is Kathy DeWitt Dunn. She's the president and CEO of DeWitt and Dunn. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, let's talk about this because my head was hurting listening to all these numbers. Uh, first of all, when you hear the, the trillion dollars collectively, uh, the credit card debt, what does that say to you about our spending as a country? We're spending way too much. Yeah. I mean, this is the highest level of debt that we've seen since 2008. Why? Why are we racking up more debt? That is such a great question. <laughs> I have a feeling that people aren't staying within their budget. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of are the me generation. We want to buy it. We don't understand what that's really going to mean later down the road. But we really need to take a look at our budget and stay within it because one of the things later down the road is you're not going to be able to finance your retirement years later down the road and the income that you're going to need. So it's really important to sit down and focus in on it now. Is there any advice you give your clients when it comes to, okay, I make X dollars, right? How much you know, line of credit should I have for a credit card? Do you sort of give a ratio for that or an idea? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things if you're going to use is called the credit utilization ratio, mm -hmm. and you usually try to stay within 30% of whatever your credit line is mm -hmm. on that credit card because that won't impact your credit score. Right. And make sure you okay. pay that off every single month versus yeah. letting it accumulate because if you just make minimum payments on your credit cards, it's going to take at least 10 years yeah. to pay that off. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about some of the things you can do to sort of get back on track. Let's say you're at home watching this and you have a lot of credit cards debt, you have your student loans, you have your mortgage. How can you start to get back on track? Well, it feels overwhelming at first, it but does. like you said, just put everything out on the table, mm -hmm. get a sheet out and say, this is how much money I make. And then take a look at each of the items that you have and put it on a spreadsheet and stay within your budget and make sure, wait a minute, I'm way over. I have, my bills exceed what my income is. Mm -hmm. Well, then you know what you need to do? You need to maybe get rid of cable TV, take a look at reducing your mobile bill account. And there's so many things that you can do, $100 here, $100 there. Stop eating out during the middle of the day, save mm -hmm. money you know, at lunch pack your lunch. There's lots of things that you can do along the way that really are going to make a really big impact on your finances and make sure to pay your highest credit card debt down first. Mm -hmm. And maybe get a financial advisor, a financial planner too to help, really you, help. to help you organize. I mean, I, I got one early on just so I can make sure my money's going in the right way. I needed to learn how to pay myself. That's why I had to get one. Like how to pay myself first and still take care of all the bills. And that's a great point because what I tell all of my clients, like let's just say that you are contributing to your 401k, there's mm -hmm. free matching funds. Start off with maybe 10 or 15%. See how that goes within your budget. Move that up to as high as 30% of your salary because that money is really going to be needed later down the road but you know smart start small and then continue to build on that because just right now you know with credit card debt um, student loan debt mm -hmm. automobile debt you name it but what about making sure you've got money put away for your retirement later down the road. Yeah, and you also agree if the person got a lot of debt coming into the relationship, honey, you might want to find somebody else. <laughs> Next. Next, right. All right, Kathy, <laughs> thanks for joining us in. this morning. She knows. Uh, I agree with her on that.